This is where it all started. Yeah, we all went to high school together, so. I went to first grade with this kid. Yeah, we didn't know each other for a while, actually. Long time. Actually, we lived pretty close to each other growing up. This is Jacob and Cody over there. Yeah, I usually just hang out, play some video games, or sometimes we go fishing. Just whatever he can do to really relax, especially for me. He's got enough stuff to worry about. What's happening? Survive? Something about an invasion. You look like I'm a, a kid. Short. Oh yeah, you're a kid. He said, he said coming to him. The zombies? I got back in College Station on Sunday night, so I got here a couple days early just to, you know, get used to the time change and get back accustomed to, you know, living here. That's how you always know you're home. When you're driving in on Highway 6, you see the big College Station water tower. Growing up in Houston and A&M being so close to home and just how comfortable I was here, um, you know, it really, really wasn't a close decision. I knew a and where I wanted to be. Right now, we're heading over to, uh, Little TV station, I'm gonna shoot a little mini commercial deal. The whole car commercial deal kind of got started with, um, you know, I talked to my agent Ryan and told him, you know, I'd, I'd like to have a truck that I could be able to drive around when I go back in town. So we got in touch with the local dealerships here and, you know, I had to go into the studio and kind of do a little commercial bit for them. When shopping for a new car or truck, my number one pick is Apple Ford and Hyundai of Brenham. It is kind of crazy to think that doing commercials and appearances and stuff like this is kind of going to be part of my job now. Looking back, you know, especially in high school, in the beginning of my college career, you know, I definitely couldn't see myself doing stuff like this, but um, it's crazy how much I've grown and matured. Shop Aggieland's largest Ford and Hyundai inventory at AggielandFord.com and AggielandHyundai.com. That's a great did I say it right there? Yeah, All right, good. Smile at me. All right. We got two that are, that are pretty tight. It went really well. You know, I only took 10 takes, so I guess I did pretty good. That wasn't too bad. It's really fun being able to come back and you know see all your former teammates and coaches. And now that we're back and got a chance to reconnect and you know see how everyone else was handling the process. They accomplished a lot of good things here team-wise and really elevated the program to a new level. So this is kind of where it all happens. We got the indoor over here. So we had our practices inside and then the fields are right over there. Uh, weight room is over here, the Davis Center. Brand new, really nice. And then here's the front lobby. Of the, uh, of the football facility. We're just gonna do a little walk around. Oh, all right. Crazy, come talk to the cameras. <laughs> the weight room especially was a really unique place for you know guys on the team, especially offensive linemen. You know, that's the place where you get a lot of work done. This is our specific rack right here. The O-line always lifted around this area. We were, we were always right here, real adamant. You know, I had to have this rack. Any young guy came in, I don't know, it's just the first, one I used day one, and any young guy tried to take it, we'd have to kick him off. It used to be a fingerprint scanner, but once you're out, you're out. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, this is Hagner, Hagner Auditorium. This is where we had all our team meetings and everything. I usually sat somewhere right around here. You know, big guy gotta get in the back, get a little room. Right here, pregame, call it up right here. Get around the big logo. Yeah, they keep it pretty wild in here. This was my locker right here. Oh man, I've been here since my uh, true freshman year. This has been my locker all the time, so kind of like a second home to me. I think he's just ready to roll and uh, move to the next level and you know meet the challenge there. This is where it all went down. The good old knee braces. I'm just proud to be a part of it, proud to have you know, left somewhat of a legacy here. It's weird being back. It's been, been gone for so long, it's weird to see all this stuff again. It's weird that they're out practicing now and I'm not a part of it, so I'll get used to it. Hopefully I got some brighter things coming in the future. <laughs> No power, no power on the kick. <laughs> Thanks, Todd. Pro day is no joke. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah! Yes! Yes! Cut back. Ooh. Can I get your autograph? You know what, Coach? <laughs> 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 <laughs>